Yes, uh, this is 300 plus academy. Yes, uh, we back to the uh, business of the day, which is uh, chemistry alternative to practical for the general certificate examination. Those playing on your screen, it's a titration experiment where 21.60 cm cube of H2SO4 was completely required to neutralize uh, or react with 25 cm cube of sodium hydroxide containing 2 gram of the um, alkali in uh, 500 cm cube of the uh, solution. And looking at the screen, we were not given any equation. So the first thing we were told to do is to write a balanced equation for question A. We were told to write a balanced equation between sulfuric acid, that's uh, H2, H2SO4 and uh, sodium hydroxide, okay, aqueous. So what we have is the sodium from the base is going to combine with the sulfates from the acid. And as you know, SO4 carries a charge of minus 2. Sodium carries a charge of plus 1. So that tells us we need one more sodium. That is what I'm going to be putting to here. So that uh, Na2SO4 looks uh, balanced that way. Okay. That ends that. That ends that. Okay. Na2SO4. So I'm left with uh, hydrogen, two hydrogen here and two hydrogen here. So I should be talking about 2H2O in a neutralization reaction to give me salt and water. That tells me my Na is 1 and my NB is 2, number of moles of my base is 2. So that way, I've been able to answer question A, which says I should write a balanced equation uh, for the reaction. Okay, question B talks about uh, sodium hydroxide, calculating the concentration of sodium hydroxide in mole per dm cube. Looking at the data I have for sodium hydroxide before, for B1, for B1, okay. Talking about the sodium hydroxide, from the available data, I was told that 2 grams of the alkali uh, was in 500 cm cube of the solution. So I have 2.00 gram of sodium hydroxide in 500 cm cube of the alkali and I was told to look for the concentration of this in mole per dm cube. So concentration in mole per dm cube in this case is going to be mole divided by the volume in dm cube. Now I wasn't given the mole but I was given the mass so I could use mass over molar mass for my numerator and for the volume I was given in cm cube, I could convert that into dm cube. So that will mean volume in cm cube divided by 1000 for my denominator. So that what this means, so that what this means is 2 divided by sodium hydroxide by calculation is 40 divided by 500 over 1000. So that this is in mole and this is in dm cube. And therefore, we are already talking about uh, the concentration of, um, as stated in that question, concentration of sodium hydroxide in mole per dm cube. So this will mean uh, 2 over 40 times 1,000 over 500. Okay, so this is going to give me 0 0.10 mole per dm cube. If I compute that way, I have been able to deal with question b1 i have been able to deal with question b1 okay talking about b2 i was told to calculate concentration of h2so4 in mole per dm cube from the available data i wasn't really given much data about sulfuric acid so therefore for b2 i'll revert to uh, the usual formula we have from the data we have na na equals to one nb equals to two VA, the volume of acid that will be able to neutralize at the base as given is 21.60 cm cube. And the volume of the base, that's the volume of the pipette, 
in this regard is 25 cm cube so that the concentration of the acid concentration of the acid i am looking for that for roman figure to b2 and i already have concentration of the base cb in roman figure one as 0 0.10 mole per tm cube using the normal formula ca va divided by cb vb equals to n a over n b what that means is i am looking for my ca so my ca is going to be cb vb n a divided by v a n b and that means my cb is 0 0.10 times my vb is 25 my n a is 1 all divided by my VA is 21.60 and my NB is 2. If I compute this for my calculator, the concentration of my acid in mole per dm cube is uh, 0 0.057 mole per dm cube. Yes, 0 0.057 mole per dm cube. That ends. Um, with that ends um, uh, uh, B2. For B3, I was told to look for the concentration of the acid in gram per dm cube. And that's quite easy. Uh, for B3, concentration of the acid in gram per dm cube. Concentration in gram per dm cube is actually concentration in mole per dm cube times molar mass. So, Concentration in gram per dm cube of my acid, since I already got the concentration in mole per dm cube, that's going to be 0 0.057 times the molar mass. Since I'm dealing with H2SO4 for my acid, H2SO4 is 98 gram. If I compute this together, I'm going to get 5.674 gram per dm cube that way i've been able to answer b3 now for question c for question c state three precautions that should be taken during this titration you see in this titration we are dealing with acid to be filled into the burette and then we are dealing with a strong base which we are supposed to use a pipette to measure I'm putting a conical flag. So talking about three precautions that we can take care, you can see on your screen, I have about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 precautions from which you can actually take three. The first precaution talks about uh, you rinsing the burette first. You, when you want to rinse your burette, uh, you first of all rinse with distilled water. After you've done that, you then rinse with the acid to be used for the titration. In this case, we are using dilute sulfuric acid. After we must have rinsed the burette with uh, distilled water, we then rinse with sulfuric, dilute sulfuric acid again. We also rinse the pipette uh, with, uh, with the distilled water. Then we rinse with the, the base to be used for this titration as well. Okay. We have to expel air bubbles from the burette and pipette. We must avoid splashes on the walls of the conical uh, flask. We must remove the funnel before titration. Of course, in getting the acid into the bread, we use a funnel. You don't feel uh, directly. So once you've uh, gotten the acid into the bread, you remove the funnel before you start uh, titration. You do not blow the blow out the remaining drop of solution from the tip of the pipette, even if you have uh, some. Of volumes of base remaining in the pipette, you do not blow that out. Uh, you read your burette and your pipette at eye level to avoid parallax error. Yes, you obey the right menis course uh, rule, which is the lower uh, menis course. You are to use uh, two or three drops of indicator. Looking at this, is a strong acid versus a strong base. You can use methyl orange, you can use phenolphthalein, you can use just about any indicator. Okay, but 
you add two or three drops of indicator to the uh, alkali. Uh, titration mixture should be swirled round in the conical flat to swirl it round so that they mix uh, thoroughly and you avoid splashing. So you have to swirl it round gently. Pipette the base to the mark. Yes, there is a mark that represents 20 cm cube. If you were using a 20 cm cube pipette or 25 cm cube, if we were using a 25 cm cube uh, pipette, make sure you get the base to the right mark. Avoid spillage of solution from pipette when transferring the base. You have to clamp the burret in a vertical position so that it is not slanting. You avoid leakage of the burret and you place the conical flask on a white surface, towel or filter a paper so that you can very easily detect color. So those are just about the precautions you can take while you are carrying out this titration. Pick any three from there and that gives you 17 marks just like that. Take note, this is a probable question. Take it very seriously. And with that, we've come to the end of, uh, no, are we at the end yet? Are we at the end yet? Yes, with that. We've come to the end of uh, this uh, probable uh, question. Thank you. Don't forget, remember to um, subscribe, comment, like, and turn on the notification bell so that at each time that we drop uh, uh, lectures, you can, of course, get in tune. Also, do comment, ask questions. Check us out on our website, 300plusacademy.com. You can DM us your question, link up, uh, link up with us on WhatsApp, DM your every question so that uh, when your preparation is a success, exiting your next exam is not going to be in doubt. From me to you, it's bye.